In this episode of Talking with Norse, we're going, to be going over the Shinork Warcopter. So I'm going to be just concentrating on the good units out of the Forge World Index, and then we'll finish it up with all the bad ones. But this is the Shinork Warcopter, however, is easily one of the best units in the Forge World Index. Um, it is very much fighting with Zed Snark and the big track for the best ones. And the reason why it has been seriously errated. There are two major ratas with the Shinork Warcopter. First one being the points, dropping it down from a whopping 155 to 74 in the last uh, chapter approved. That puts it right on track for a truck. In fact, if you give it in space configuration, it is cheaper than a truck, which it probably should, shouldn't be, to be honest. I think it needs to go up a few more points because it's just that good. Um, the other one was the recent big facts where the Schnork Warcopter gained the open topped rule where you can now shoot out of it, whereas before you couldn't. And it has turned the Schnork Warcopter from a footnote in the index to a star of your orc army. So the Schnork Warcopter is movement of 16 inches, weapon skill 3, ballistic skill 5, strength 6, toughness 5. It is only toughness 5, so it's a little weak with only eight wounds, four attacks, um, leadership six, and four up save. A Warcopter is a single model equipped with two def guns and one big shooter. Oh, I should also note the Warcopter is not a fast attack. It is not a flyer. It is a dedicated transport, which means you can have as many of these as you have units in your army. So you can literally build an entire Apocalypse Now Shinork Warcopter army if you really wanted to. But being a dedicated transport means you really don't have a limit to how many of these you can put in your army. And they're so cheap. Okay, so death guns are the same weapons that you have on Ludus. So 48 inch heavy D3, strength 7 AP, minus 1, 2 damage. Um, so a Warcopter, and it has a big shooter. So it said a big shooter plus a Warcopter is 80 points, less than a truck. And it is so much faster than a truck. Um, and it flies, so it can fall back and still shoot. Uh, so Warcopter may replace this big shooter with either a Scorcher rocket launcher or a custom Mega Blaster. Scorcher is an awesome option to replace that with. A Warcopter may replace its two death guns with two Rattler cannons. And I was surprised by these Rattler cannons when I had to face Shinork Warcopters for the first time. The Rattler cannon is 24 inch range, heavy 2d6, strength 5, AP minus 2, and d3 damage. Holy crap, that is a weapon and a half. The, the downside is that it is heavy, and this thing still suffers the, penal, the penalty to move and shoot heavy weapons. So if you do drop down, so when it comes in or, or moves, you're still going to be hitting on sixes. But four D6 shots, so that's an average of 14 shots at strength five, minus two, and D3 damage. Anything that's like two wounds, this thing's just going to mow down. That's incredible, that amount of firepower. I end a Warcopter may take two big bombs, and big bombs are zero points, so there's no reason not to take the two big bombs. A Warcopter can carry 10 Orc Infantry models. It may not carry Mega Armor or Jump Packs. It has Eerie Go, so it can reroll its charge distances before attacks hitting on threes at Strength 5. And if it can survive Overwatch, it could definitely absorb Overwatch for you. Turbo Boost. When this model advances, add 8 inches to its move characteristic for that movement phase instead of rolling a dice. That gives you a 24 inch movement. This is why it is so much faster than a truck. I and mean, this is what makes it better than a truck is that flat out speed. Now, if it had Jink or some sort of the exhaust cloud rule, that would make it even more broken. But this, I mean, that's what you would get out of the seventh edition truck that first turn is 24 inches. You would move 12 and, you would, and you'd flat out 12. This can move 24 inches. This is so. This is what a truck needs to be: is that fast or faster. So this is better than a truck in every single way. Turbo. Let's see. Scouting ahead during deployment, you can set up a warcopter behind enemy lines instead of placing it on the battlefield. At the end of your movement phases, the warcopter can swoop down and ambush the foe. Set it up anywhere on the battlefield that is more than nine inches away from enemy models. Of course, this is restricted by the first turn 
can only be in your deployment zone. But if you got uh, an opponent that's aggressive and moving is moving up towards you, that's fine because you can drop this down in your deployment zone. That's not a problem. Big bomb, a war big bomb can do, let's see, roll d6 for each model in the enemy unit up to five. On a five plus, it does a mortal wound. Zero points. If you get a few mortal wounds out of it for free, sure. Absolutely, absolutely worth zero points. A mortal wound for zero points is a good mortal wound. And explodes. Actually, it does explode on a six. It does d6 mortal wounds in six inches. So for a light vehicle, it does a lot of mortal wounds when it dies on top of it. So, what can you do with a Chinook war, war copter? So many things. The two things, the first thing I thought of when I heard of the, this is burners. Because this is are assault weapons, you can advance this thing and shoot the burners out of it, giving you a 32 inch threat range with 10 burners. And if you have um, your big shooters, you can still shoot a big shooter too if you wanted to. But yeah, the uh, so that's great. You can set this up with 10 burners in it, and you were pretty much be able to reach almost anywhere on the board. Um, but the main thing I think you're going to find this thing for is tank busters. And the reason why is you can put tank busters in there and keep them safe that first turn, if, especially if you don't go first. You can keep them safe. And I said, if you're going up an aggressive, against an aggressive opponent that's moving vehicles into the middle of the table, they're going to be in range of the rockets. So you can drop the Shinor core down in your deployment zone first turn and still shoot the rockets at something. It's not too bad. Or you can just wait till the second turn and drop it wherever you need it and rock it whatever you need. Um, in that way, this is almost like an orc drop pod, being able to put uh, firepower wherever you need it. So, yeah. Think of it as a drop pod in that regard. They, they, they don't even have to get out. So now they have to shoot the, the, the war copter down before they can get to the squishy tank busters inside, which is fine because you're going to be having other things to shoot at too. And if you do, if they're shooting at the war copters, that means you got your other stuff free that first turn or second turn to do whatever they want to do without getting shot at. So your war copters are a good lifeline for your tank busters, even better than trucks or battle wagons. There is absolutely no downside to shooting war, war, war copters so even with the two rattler cannons which is most opposite you're still talking 106 points and but if you want to keep it cheap you just for 80 points you get the one big shooter and call it a day um Schnork war copters are Fantastic, because they fix them. This is what, hopefully these leaving rule sets will continue on as we go. Um, so it's been fixed into a really, really amazing model. And just like everything Orky, you are ripe for conversions and looting of all kinds. You can, um, I have a 148 scale hind model, which will be someday turned into a war copter of some kind. I don't know when, but it's on the to-do list. <laughs> but you can use whatever you want to with these things. And the model, I mean, it is kind of spendy. I mean, it's approaching 100 bucks, 75 pounds or something like that. So it's probably over 100 bucks from the actual model. So it's kind of spendy. And that's why you loot it. You you get a helicopter model. You get uh, You add helicopter blades to a, I don't know, a Valkyrie. Whatever you want to do. Um, yeah, Schnork Warcopters, again, right for looting, right for scratch building, conversions, and absolutely the most amazing dedicated transport we have access to. So much better than a truck. In almost every regard, the only regard it's not better is survivability. The truck is tougher at toughness six and 10 wounds, but this is faster. It's a drop pod if you want it to be. It has mega firepower if you want it to have it. And you, there is no limit to how many of these you can take because it's a dedicated transport. The Shinork Warcopter is easily one of the best things that we have access to um, and probably the best model in the Forge World Index. So what kind of Forge uh, Shinork Warcopter conversions have you done? Have you played with these things? They are booming in competitive circles for competitive orc lists uh, you'll find them everywhere because they are just that good 
So leave your comments and questions below, and thanks for watching. Thank you for watching this episode of Talking About Orcs. Please subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications for new Talking About Orcs videos every Wednesday, new battle reports every Friday, and hobby videos whenever I can. Thanks for watching.